we were just a few meters from our campsite here and there's all kind of fallen limbs. This area of forest has been burned recently and sometimes they will cut down trees for whatever reason. Maybe there's a disease in the wood, who knows. We've seen other people around us gathering firewood. In this case, it's probably okay to gather it, but this is not allowed in all places, so make sure you check with the rangers first if it's okay for you to gather local firewood. So like little sticks like this we can use to help start our fire. Bring an ax with you so you can cut these limbs, these kind of things off of here, because that doesn't really want to come off too easily. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna head over here with our gathered firewood and we're gonna start building our fire. This is the wood that we got from Ralph's back in LA. We don't have an ax with us, but we do have this hatchet. And although it's not very sharp, uh, it does work well as a wedge that you drive between um, splits in the grain of the wood. Hammer that wedge through and be able to split logs that way. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some pieces off of these so we can get our kindling. The first one, I don't need to hammer it. I can just go ahead and break it off. So. This is a nice piece of kindling. Kindling is a term for material that you can use to start a fire. I'm gonna teach you what I learned in Boy Scouts, pretty much. We're gonna make our kindling with wood. I don't suggest using paper of any sort. As you can see, we have a lot of trees above our, our fire pit here. And although they're not real close to it, if you light a paper bag or a newspaper on fire, it can fly away and catch everything around you on fire. So. Don't use paper, uh, it's especially not good in wind. We're gonna split this log a little bit smaller. Find a place where you can prop it up nicely. I, we did bring a hammer, but I just wanna show you that a rock can be just as good. I'm gonna start the hatchet into the wood, and then I'm going to use this rock as a hammer to drive it further down the log. That's about as, as far as I could get it. Now, I'm gonna try and wedge it from where uh, the bottom of the crack that I created. We broke the rock. <laughs> These pieces are gonna be great for starting our fire. You can see they're extremely thin, but they will burn for more than a few seconds. So that can go in by itself. It doesn't need to be any smaller. <laughs> Great to have some gloves on, you don't get splinters. Now this piece of wood that I cut earlier, I'm gonna use my pocket knife to shave this, or at least a few pieces of it, into little bits that we can use to make our kindling bird nest. We'll shave these little shavings off until we have ourselves a nice little pile. And that's gonna be the ignition for our campfire. You start with really small pieces and you work your way up. That's how you get the fire going. You don't just assemble, you know, a, a teepee or a cabin and throw a match on it. Our result is this nice little bird nest here of wood shavings. I set the bird nest aside for now. We're gonna build what's called a log cabin fire. You basically think of um, Lincoln logs, like the toy when you were a kid. You're gonna build a square uh, wooden structure. It's got a hole in the middle, and we're gonna stuff that with sticks. And the bird nest is gonna go in last at the bottom. These are some, here's some wood that Louise collected. This is really good right here. We're gonna break it into somewhat equal lengths we're gonna burn it. So this is how we're building our log cabin. This is not the, the best one I've ever made. But we're gonna start small. You know, you don't wanna burn up all your wood in five seconds. And start with a small fire. All right, how about we put these on? I'm gonna stuff these down the chimney like that, kind of creating a TP type structure in here. Any fire that's built with the wood 
stacked vertically like that, it's gonna burn extremely high and hot. So make sure there's nothing above you that's gonna catch. We've got our tinder, which is our bird's nest here, and our kindling, thin wood shavings like that. We're gonna start putting all that stuff down in here. I'm gonna save one of these as a match. Maybe it'll be this one. I'm gonna pour the bird's nest in here. Try to keep it all together. And we have several small pieces of kindling that we're gonna start adding on once that tinder catches. You wanna protect it uh, so it holds that flame and that spark. And we're gonna add oxygen with our breath to help it go. This is my match right now. Always make sure you have water close by. You know, you never wanna burn something that can get out of your control. If it's too windy, just don't do it. So now we're lit. And I'm gonna put it down in the tinder. And we, we wanna protect it as good as we can right now. And wait for everything surrounding that match to get fire. So I'm gonna start feeding it oxygen to try and get it to go. Okay, we're lit. <laughs> now, I don't know what Louise is thinking of making for dinner. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> well, five second interval. Yeah. Okay, sure dinner. Thing. 